the side. First move, most people can't execute correctly because they use it as a push-off board when you're supposed to be able to touch it and bring it back. That's the test. I didn't shift any balance. So it's actually a real hesitation there before you launch off. The launch off is very, very speedy. So you're here, and then it's going to go really quick. But there's a lot of balance required in this because when you get to that end, you're supposed to sink down quite far. So you come up here, and then drop. Okay. Done slowly, pause. Then you make the decision, I'm going to go. Then this comes about here, and sink, 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 and stop here. Supported block. Uh, don't go from low to high. Just out. Out and sinking when you're doing that. And here. Coming up. Comes up here. And then you're using these muscles in here to roll outwards, connected to this back part. So you're cranking this down as you come out. So it comes up and crank downward. You step out a little bit. This shouldn't be too far out. So here. And here. Different stylists have different widths. But the main thing is to crank that muscle, tightening that and screwing around. Screwing the muscle structure into here, like so. So uh, here, I'm going to turn the cot around. Stepping out, placement is not back there, but from the ear. Speed is really important on this one coming back. So slowly, is here. But try to put, we all know how to do this part, try to get your emphasis and your crispness and your speed on this one. Here. There. See that? So, that. Here and here. Turn over. And this, again, speed on this one. Don't worry about this one so much. You already know how to do that. Here and slowly. It's very close to the chin and there's a sink when you get to that point with the body. So here, sink as that reaches. This is really flat and taut. Don't curl your hand. Think of a kick coming to your armpit and you want to protect it. So this has to be ready to take a kick right there. Okay, crossing over. Don't sit up to your about midway. Here, here. This position here, uh, going to the front, you know, carrying the, the, the kick is coming, you're sweeping to the outside. So you want to radar is on this part of your arm here. That's the sensitivity right there. Feeling the length of the leg. It's all one continuous motion. But the leg, you're avoiding, you're feeling that on the bottom part, and then coming up, you're in the air. So it's circular and in motion, but the emphasis on that bottom part. So, with the slide back, and the sweep. Just like in Wong Khan, step out, go to the inside of your leg, pick straight up, like so. When your foot lands for the jigga tie, this is doing the grab. The punch comes straight out from the elbow. It is gate on. Here's my here's chunal gate on one fist over. Okay, so here and hey, here. Make sure at this point you're on your center line. Use lots of koshi on these. No gap there. And connect that move to this move. This one's in here, in front right here. Yeah, you're going to turn the koshi in place to your kosadash. 
and that's going to maneuver your hand to this position. Again, da -da 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 -da. right here. This slides down the arm. You bring your knee up very high, high as possible. This comes out not too far, about that far, and these come in. This recoils very quickly up, step down, right here. No, don't shift back, and quickly tighten your body to do that chateau. So, from, from here, here, Chateau. Okay. This is one count. So you have two springs, Nikolaj Getty, two of those, but these two are one count. So this is one thing, not stop and then stop, but together. Don't bounce your thing here, don't bounce these. Just here and down, Udikin. Stomach, this section, not collarbones. And Nickel wash, try not to get square on it. Keep the integrity of the stance. Right here. Here, pause. Straight from that position into the Oitsuki and Kyo. Here. Hey! Then, next move, when your heels touch, relax this part. Breathe, tense, tense in. Flick it out, don't use your muscle. Let that just whip, whip out. From, from, from here. Pause, come around. This stays in position. It's doing a circle this direction. Kick is coming here. You're making the kick go that way. Block, not a strike, here block. This one is doing a small support circle like so, using the, the gamaku to roll. It's going to mimic that circle. Two circles happening in your system. One this way, one this way. Pause in. Here. Turning. Then, kick, the kick uh, comes around, but then the hips turn and you set straight down, and down, elbow coming out. Your head is so on the side for the kick. The target of the, or the direction of the kick on the hand, instead of it going this way to the side, the kick should be a clearance down on the hand. So ideally, your foot comes up and sweeps down. And then as she was explaining earlier, then your foot comes straight down for the PGI. Same as in Rohan. So, you have the force, but turns, and it's right there for the, for the elbow. Then, the elbow timing is here, here, here. Is the first one isolated, next two are, are connected. So, duh, and then it goes, bomb, bomb. Okay? Uh, so it goes, this fist, imagine a kick coming here. The fist turns over, strikes on top of the foot, comes out, not too wide on this one, turns over, watch. And without the elbow doing anything funky, straight down. And sink at the end. So, down, down. Going up, going up here, coming out. Check that your groin is, is not cowboy and wide open, needs to be closed. Sink on the strike, use your koshi. So here, coming, 
you don't need to come out further. You come out the same distance you would for Chateau. So if this is your Chateau, that's as far as you go. Don't search further. It puts you off balance. So coming out and you're stopping as if I was doing Chateau on this teeter line, that's where my foot stops. You don't go further than that. And leaving a little coche back here to come out. Uh, then drawing straight up. And Coming around, divide your space up so that I'm not going like this and doing the move. I'm turning up, 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 up with some of my positioning behind so I can do that move in the center axis of where I was previously. So here I am here, and then I'm going to be here to do the move. The hips go before the block. Here, so hips, and then block, and then hips make that block happen. Come out 45 and searching use the koshi to pull back an inch or so for that for that last little bringing in of the hands. Get 45 and I do the hands a little bit for the eyes on this. Stepping up and then